Hi guys, this is Primrose and welcome back to my channel. So this um, video was taken in Rome, Italy when I visited in Italy. And um, this is my favorite place to go for uh, cacti and succulents because here they sell them really, really cheap, which you will see in a minute. So uh, they don't uh, really have so much um, selections, but I don't go for rare species anyway. And um, so most of my succulents in my collection, I got them from here. And when I moved into the UK, I brought them with me. So uh, growing succulents can uh, be tricky, especially if you're a beginner and you do not know what you're doing. Um, too much water can kill them and if they're not getting enough direct sunlight, uh, they'll start to um, grow thin and struggly and unattractive. So it will be a great idea if uh, you're a beginner and you're just starting out, you can get succulents as a cutting, as a tiny plant. That way, uh, you do not lose much money. If they die, you could always get another one and replace them. So most of mine, I got them from here for uh, 50 cents for the uh, tiny cuttings. So if you are looking for a cascading variety, um, this is my sedum burrito or the burrow stale. Um, this is a personal favorite of mine. I like how the um, leaves are formed in a way that is giving the plant a twisty look. So this is a slow grower and it takes a while for the plant to grow long and give out that um, cascading look but it's very beautiful and if it's getting enough uh, direct light it could look really full and bushy and beautiful and of course the another um, cascading variety is the string of burls another beautiful succulent plant But if you are more into a branching uh, succulent, a branching type, then maybe a jade plant is a perfect choice for you. I personally like the um, tree-like appearance of this plant. Um, the stem, the stems inside there are very thick and fleshy. So at the start of spring, some of these plants uh, changes color and um, they look really beautiful. So that's just the one of their defense mechanism when the um, sun is high up in the sky. So they changes color. It's like to uh, shield themselves, the leaves from getting uh, sunburned. And another personal favorite of mine is this stack chrysula. So it can grow really tall and upright and can get really top heavy. The leaves are thick and now those stems are not able to support the weight of the entire plant. Um, that's why I am putting a stake into the pot there. And then of course we have this beautiful um, rosette forming leaves of Echeveria. So I would like to start that um, this beautiful rosette can only happen if the plant is getting enough direct sunlight. And um, that bushy look as well, you can only attain it if you're growing succulent indoor like I do. You can only attain this look if your succulents are getting enough 
uh, direct sunlight so uh, preferably the best uh, place for them to grow inside your home is the at the window or at least near the sunniest window in your house or uh, that could be the south um, facing uh, window or the west facing window with the exception of course of the um, gasterias and the Haworthias. Uh, so this group of succulents they do best in a more shady um, window sill uh, like the east facing with the early morning sunlight um, that's perfect for them and um, another uh, thing is that the, the sunlight that comes in through the window is one-sided so the plant can definitely benefit from a constant turn and to prevent that um, distorted look so if you can see that um, cactus there is not looking very attractive it's stretching out towards the source of sunlight I haven't uh, turned this plant for over two weeks and now that that happens and so that's it sunlight is very very important if you wanted your succulents to thrive and look beautiful indoors because if you don't give them enough uh, direct sunlight the plants uh, the leaves will start to grow thin and uh, elongated and it will just grow struggling and unattractive and then that will bring me to uh, watering so these plants have the ability to store water inside their tissue uh, which are inside the leaves uh, those thick fat plump leaves and stems so these plants can actually uh, tolerate neglect they could go on for um, weeks without watering they can actually tolerate neglect than any other house plants but that doesn't mean that um, you have to be stingy or don't give them water at all because um, you will see if the plant is not getting enough um, water it will show on the leaves it will get wrinkly so if you find yourself a bit heavy-handed on the watering then maybe it's best to put them in um, to plant the succulents on a terracotta pot um, that way the water can leak out very uh, quickly compared to the plastic pots these plants if you splash water on the leaves there is a chance that some of the leaves are a bit sensitive they could get permanent markings and stains or maybe get rot as well so use a narrow spotted watering can and also for there are spaces like this one in order to reach that part that is difficult to reach i use this um kitchen tool I think it is a turkey baster and I could just um, squirt a water in there very easily so I hope you guys find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching take care bye